Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Uh, today I'm back with you with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial and today we're going to be looking at uh, late activation. So let's go ahead and jump into the Mission Editor. So late activation is very similar to the uncontrolled AI that uh, you would have seen, I'm sure, uh, in my previous videos. Uh, where it's you can effectively have an aircraft or an, uh, any asset really uh, ready and waiting to spawn in, but it's not actually present, un unlike uh, uncontrolled AI. So this is handy for, you know, if you want a sudden hostile aircraft to appear or, you know, certain things to happen. Um, and obviously they are condition based. Uh, so let's jump in and get cracking, shall we? So let's do something really simple. Let's just have uh, an aircraft spawn in after another aircraft has taken off. That way, it, you know, it's an easy thing to, to show you. And then from there, you can play around with uh, the different conditions and stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and put an aircraft on the runway. Take off. And then you can just go over there. That's fine. So that's aerial one. Okay. Let's have another aircraft on the ramp, uh, ready and waiting to uh, take off from ramp. Really waiting for us to change, tell it what to do. So let's have an F-15 waiting. Now the important thing here is we have this late activation option here. We need to ensure that that is ticked. Otherwise, uh, the aircraft will just be there from the, from as soon as the mission starts, and it'll just carry on uh, doing whatever it is you've planned it to do. So we've got that ticked, which is good. So now we need to add some uh, conditions and uh, triggers for for that to happen. So we come over here to our trigger menu and let's name it uh, f15 spawn uh, our condition is this is, again like i said before this is where you can start to play about with it once you get used to it and there's you know there's so many different options you can have for uh, for the aircraft to spawn in but for the purpose of this video because we want it to happen once the aircraft is taken off we're gonna you can either do it uh, based on altitude but i'm gonna do it based on speed now i know the aircraft to get off the air, off the ground, it needs to be over a certain speed. So let's say 140 knots. So let's type in 140 knots. And now once our A4 reaches 140 knots, our F15 should spawn in. But we need to add a group activate first and select our F15. So we know that that's aerial two. Okay, so let's go through that again. So we've got our trigger, it's gonna happen once. Our condition is if the A4 is above 140 knots, then our F15 will spawn in. Okay, so let's jump in and see if that actually works. Hopefully it will. Okay, so here we are, just letting it build up a bit of steam. And off we go. So at the minute, you can see here, we only have one aircraft present, which is our A4, and our F15 isn't present yet. So let's just wait for them to take off. Here we go. Remember, 140 knots, and the aircraft should spawn in. He says. So, yep. There we go. And there's our F-15 spawned in now. And it's as simple as that. Like I said, there's so many different conditions uh, you can set it to. You know, you can have it time-based, uh, altitude-based, uh, you know, based on flags, uh, and so on. But it's really handy for having, you know, threats pop up uh, if certain if something happens. Uh, you know, and you, you can base it on so many different things. Um, but that's it, effectively. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments if you, if you did. Now, if you have any issues, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and help you out where I can. As well, if you do have any ideas of things you would like to see in other tutorials, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. And uh, I shall see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.